Hi there, some of you might be aware of our uh, supercharger rebuild that we do for the uh, Mini Cooper S. Um, one of the main areas that we attend to on the rebuilds is the PTO end. Uh, that's the gears on the end that drive the water pump. Normally when you turn the supercharger pulley, uh, not only do the rotors turn, but you'll find the little fork drive on the back end turns as well. This particular supercharger is a particularly bad one, but possibly one of the worst ones we've seen to date, in so much as if we turn the supercharger pulley, which I'll show you in a minute, there is actually no drive to the fork at all, uh, meaning that the loss of the gear teeth has caused this. This will cause the head gasket to blow, or possibly worse, within possibly 30 seconds. But we'll turn the supercharger pulley now. Uh, you can see the rotors are turning inside. They will always turn. Um, but as I turn that, we'll just move the camera to the other end, the fork drive there, and you'll see there's no motion at all there. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to have a quick break while we unbolt the PTO plate on here, have a look inside and see what the damage is. We'll see you in a minute. Cheers. Fine. Hi, OK, we're, we've just unbolted this PTO plate on the end. If everything was as it should be, uh, there would have been a lot of oil all over the bench, and there certainly wouldn't have been masses here of debris and swarf, OK? Now, if you look at these two gears, this one in particular, at a quick glance, looks OK. But if you look inside it, because the other gear is a lot narrower, there's a massive recess there, such to the point that both the gears no longer give drive. This gear is also worn, so when this gear is turning, Normally this one will turn, this goes to the water pump, okay, uh, in this instance we've completely lost mesh between the two. So this is possibly one of the worst ones we've seen. Um, the main cause of this problem is the, the seal behind this gear which uh, fails, the oil drains out and then it's a very fast path to destruction. So on a rebuild, as well as attending to other things on the front end of the charger, in this end of the charger, this needle roller bearing gets replaced. There's a seal behind this gear we replace. We replace this gear. We replace this gear. There's also a shaft here which goes all the way through from here, right the way through to this fork drive. That gets changed. And there's also a seal within this PTO cover here, which doesn't normally cause a problem with an oil leak. And there's also a ball race in there which does fall apart. So there's no point in changing just the seal, or even in this case, just the two gears and the seal. We need to do all the parts. But that's that's all there is for today. Um, do keep an eye on your charges. If they get noisy, you do need to attend to it sooner rather than later. Um, I think this one's probably only done about 60, 70,000 miles. As you can see, it's a black rotor one, which is like 54 plate onwards. So don't assume because you've got a later car that you won't get the problem. Okay, thanks a lot. Cheers.